Madam, I would like to first of all thank you for creating this atmosphere today. And as you told us in the BSC yesterday, that you have personally taken interest to dedicate this day in the Indian Parliament for this kind of a serious discussion. And I would thank parties from all sides of this house for having participated in this discussion and expressed their opinions without anybody disturbing each other. All of us here, the representatives of this vast country of 130 to 150 crores of people, we all have our own dreams. We all have maybe some are small people. We have small dreams about a country. Some are having larger visions. They have larger dreams. But all of us have dreams of what we see this country to be in the next 50 years or 100 years. We all know, we all are aware that those who live for themselves are hated in this world or ignored at best. But those and only those who live for others are fondly remembered all over the world, not only in one particular country, but all over. The history of India has been uh, repeated, oft repeated, and many learned speakers have given their opinions. So I will have the audacity to say that I would not like to go back and not like to uh, take a leaf out of history. I would only like to speak a few words here that how do I feel, why do I feel disturbed in India today? And why do I feel worried that where are we all of us put together, no matter whether it is the Congress or the BJP or the BJD or the ADMK, no matter which party or the Trinamool Congress, it doesn't matter. The political parties do not matter. We are, first of all, born as Indians. And when we die, we will die as Indians. We have to acknowledge that this is a multicultural society, a society where people speak Tamil with as much love and as much respect as people speak Hindi where people speak Oriya or Ahamya with as much gusto as the Maratha or the Gujarati. So this is a country where tolerance is built into the very foundation of this nation. It's not something one has to shout from the rooftop and demand tolerance. Either it is there in you or the history of this country will reject you forever. We cannot have walls in this country. We cannot say that because you wear this kind of a cloth, you speak this kind of a language, you eat this kind of a vegetarian or non-vegetarian food, therefore you are different from us. We cannot afford in the 21st century to make this country into an us and them country. We cannot, we simply cannot afford to give the teenagers of this nation a distorted image of what we as representatives of the people have dreamt of this country. It is sad to see that we in our petty desires, in our petty ambitions, we have forgotten the interest of the country. I do not see aspiration anywhere. There is plenty of ambition. And I differentiate greatly between the two. When Gandhiji said, kare ya mare, we have twisted that. We have made it kare ya mare. And that is not fair to the coming generations of India. When he said ahimsa, 
He also said civil disobedience because he knew the people of India could not rise up in arms. He knew that our nature yes. was we will be disobedient to the ruler, yes. no matter who it is who's ruling us. Yes. Similarly, when he said non-cooperation, he knew our character, that we like to be bhakts, we like to be trolls, we like to bow down by the feet of, at the feet of the people who are in power, just because we do not have the courage to stand up for what we think is true, what we think is correct, what is the honest India. Yes, sir. We in Orissa, we have seen the Paiko Vidro, we have seen Jai Rajguru, we have seen Surendra Sai, we have seen so many freedom fighters. But I would like to speak just this much, ma'am, that it is time that we unite all our dreams. We do not divide and get into petty fights of who buys which MLA, who fights which seat, yes. who wins what, which state government comes to where. It is no more politics. Yes. It is the future of India. Yes. And I hope that today, this great day when Madam Speaker has designed it in such a manner, and you led the way at the very outset to make it a day of understanding and cooperation amongst all of us. I hope when we go back home today, we will all think, where are we taking this India? What do we want to do with this India? And how is the 14-year-old, 18-year-old, 20-year-old young Indian girl and boy, how is he looking at us? How is she looking at us? Are they inspired by looking at us? Or do they hate us? That is the question before us. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. Dev Gaudaji.